Hello friends, or as they say in the Netherlands, morgen. Welcome to a new episode of Analog Diaries. And this episode is all about the Leica M6 and we're using Ilford HP5. So let's do some street photography. The Leica M6, you could say it is the camera. It's a camera used by iconic photographers, world renowned for its aesthetics, build quality and image quality. It shoots 35 mm film and when you hold it, you feel a solid piece of high-end materials, minimalistic and functional. It really looks like you want to have it. This episode of Analog Diaries is brought to you by No Digital, the go-to analog photography store in the Netherlands. So let's shoot some film with the M6. The Leica M6 is probably one of the most well-known street photography analog cameras out there. And of course, when you're talking about Leica and when you're talking about the Leica M6, these days you're also talking about budget. Uh, this camera is not mine. I got to borrow it from my friends over at No Digital because it's, uh, well, currently out of my budget as well. Um, we are shooting with the Summicron 35mm f2 and it really is a joy to use. The optics are very nice and it's very fun to use the light meter and the manual focus to compose nice, nice shots. And shooting with a camera like this um, really makes you think of your photography and that's one of the, well, that's one of the greatest things about uh, using a camera like this. The main reason I like shooting film along with my digital photography is that I feel that it makes me a better photographer. You shoot less frames, you take more time to compose and assess the situation. But let's be real for a second. Shooting on a high-end camera with good film, that's all nice and okay, but when you convert it to a digital file that's of low quality, you are kind of missing the whole point. And that's what happened to me. The images I show you in this video is how the lab scanned them. And I feel they are all overexposed and the scan quality could have been a lot better. The negatives look good, so I could scan them in myself some other time. But this is just how they came back from the lab. So that's the first roll of HP5. Uh, the weather is nice and I feel like we're not done, so let's load another one. Everything in the world becoming more and more expensive, shooting film is kind of becoming something for the rich and famous. And that's why I work with No Digital because they offer fair pricing. And my film I had developed at Kreitvat, which was pretty expensive. It was 21 euros and 80 cents for one roll. And then they provide you with these small uh, prints, uh, as well as a CD where they are printed on. But the main question a lot of you probably have is not about the scans, it's about the camera. Do you really need a Leica M6? And the answer is no, you don't. Photography in general is only, almost only about skill and not about gear. And I think this applies to film photography even more. It is almost entirely about your skills as a photographer and not about the gear you are using while taking photos. It is true that the M6 is a great camera. The image quality is exceptional. And if you want the best of the best and you can afford the best of the best, then the Leica M6 will definitely not disappoint. And owning or using a Leica will probably enhance the experience of the photography because it is a lot of fun to use a, a very nice camera like that. But do you really need it? Do I really need it? Well, I don't. But 
I will bring this camera back to No Digital with a slight pain in my heart. And that concludes this episode of Analog Diaries with the Leica M6 right here in beautiful Amsterdam. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had uh, a lot of fun watching it. We had a lot of fun making it. And I'll see you next month in another episode of Analog Diaries or very soon in one of my regular videos about digital photography. Peace.